Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Kaiser Fleischer rings. Kaiser Fleischer ring is used to describe brown or blue rings seen at the periphery of the cornea. It is commonly associated with Wilson's disease and other conditions like chronic active liver disease, primary biliary cirrhosis, and multiple myeloma. For its mechanism, excess copper accumulation is the principal cause of this sign. In Wilson's disease, copper is unable to be excreted into bile, leading to a toxic accumulation in the liver, and the eventual cellular death of hepatocytes. Copper subsequently leaks into the systemic circulation, and copper chelates or granules are deposited in the inner portion of Desimase membrane in the cornea. The precise mechanism of entry of copper from the systemic circulation into this membrane is controversial. The two main theories are that copper is deposited via either the limbic system or through the aqueous humor. This is a flow chart showing the mechanism of Kaiser Fleischer rings. There is an ATP7B gene mutation, and it causes defects in copper transport protein, thus causing unstable and copper deficient ceruloplasmin. There is then excess copper in blood circulation. The liver binding sites are overwhelmed, plus hepatocellular injury, and copper is released into circulation. Copper is then deposited in the decimase membrane and cornea, causing Kaiser Fleischer rings appearance. Whereas in primary biliary cirrhosis, there is reduced biliary tree outflow, which in turn causes cholestasis. Copper that would normally be excreted into bile therefore accumulates in the liver, causing hepatotoxicity and leaking into the systemic circulation. As with Wilson's disease, copper is then able to be deposited in other tissues such as the cornea. For the sign value, Kaiser Fleischer rings are present in 99% of patients with concomitant neurological or psychiatric features of Wilson's disease, but in only 30 to 50% of patients without these features. Therefore, in the absence of neurological or psychiatric features, other differential diagnoses should be considered. That's all for this video. Thank you.